<clears throat> Verse 1. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. Jesus and his disciples, his apostles, are in the temple complex. They're sitting around, they're watching people. Specifically, they're watching people put their offerings into one of the several boxes that were available in the temple area. And they were watching the rich put their offerings in. And oftentimes, especially with the religious rulers, you couldn't help but look because they made such a big deal out of it. They made sure to, they made sure that everybody noticed that they were giving a large dollar amount, as it were. They even blew their trumpets. They blew a trumpet to draw attention to everybody, to look at them, if you can believe it. And then he says this, he also saw a certain poor widow casting therein two mites. Now, a mite was the smallest copper coin in existence. A mite was worth about one-fifth of a penny. So this woman put in two, she gave two-fifths of a penny. Two-fifths of a penny. That was her offering. Jesus said in verse 3, he said, In truth I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. It's another one of these things that Jesus says that no doubt has his apostles scratching their heads. He does that from time to time. What in the world does he mean by that? How is that possible? That she gave more than everybody else. She put in two little copper coins worth two-fifths of a penny. How is that possible? Because God measures how much we give by how much we have left, not by the dollar amount. Verse 4. For all these have of their abundance cast into the offerings of God, but she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. This was probably the biggest offering given that day in the temple, as far as God was concerned, by his measurement. God sees things so differently than people do. And he judges things to be important that people judge to be unimportant. unimportant. People back in those days especially judged children to be unimportant. Jesus said, let them come unto me because of such are the kingdom of heaven. You've got to have a childlike faith to get in. And he blessed them all one by one. The world says if you want to be a leader, then you've got to boss people around. God says, no, if you want to be a leader, you've got to serve people. The world says, well... We measure how much we give to our church, to our whatever it is, by dollar amount, how, how big the check is. God says no, by how much you have left after you give. So God's standards are completely different from the world's, which is why it's so stupid and it drives me out of my mind when I see modern evangelicals try to be like the world. Why? Why? Are you so enamored with the world? 